Our next bow, please welcome to the black corner from France, Fabian Balek. So making his way to the ring, then it's all the way from France is Fabian Balek. Now, France have had some fantastic fighters and sometimes an unknown quantity to us. Tonight is just that case. But France had some brilliant fighters, namely Fabio Pinker, who's too good looking and too good at Muay Thai to, uh, let's mention him too much. And <laughs> Danny Beal, the names go on and on, Robert. Yeah, they do, yeah. Uh, what, uh, <laughs> the names go on and on, I just can't remember them. <laughs> Sari Murad, uh, you've got Jimmy Viennot now, the Lumpini yeah. champion. Farid Villiam. Farid Villiam, what a fighter he was. Yes. And of, course, and of course, who I want to see. Fabian Balek! Yeah, I really want to see Damien Alamos make a return on yeah. Muay Thai Grand Prix. Come on, Damien. Someone must get a word out to him. I want to see him fight. And please welcome yeah, to the no, white right. corner. Fantastic. Liam Patel! So the story to tell of Liam Patel, sorry for the trying to be rhyming. It's just the right timing. <laughs> There's no griming. <laughs> Look how I did that then. It's a oh natural dear. thing. Waxing lyrical for you here, ladies and gentlemen, from Muay Thai Grand Prix. Liam Patel, though, was thrown out of it by his parents because he wanted to fight Muay Thai. Yeah. And he was living on the streets. And what a story. And what a fighter. Yeah. And what a, what a great story that'll be. And we'll find out soon, very soon about this story here on Muay Thai Grand Prix. Got Team two then. Liam, uh, oh, Liam. Liam Patel. Oh, in his last fight. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, Matty Holleran, wasn't it? And yes. He, he won that quite decisively. Really. I didn't see that, but I know Matty's a good fighter. Yeah, this A-class Muay Thai rules bout takes place in the minus 61.2 kilogram division and will be contested over three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you firstly in the black corner from France, please give a warm welcome to Fabian Balek. <laughs> And across the ring in the white corner, he's representing Team Chu Jim in central London. Makes a noise for Liam Patel! <coughs> Excuse me. So here's the tale of the tale, the 27 year 20, 12 and 1, 26 and 6 for the 26 year old from France. 62.2 kilos even. Well, the height is with Liam Patel. Yeah, got a big height advantage here, Liam. Muay Thai Grand Prix, not only bringing us established superstars, but the next level of champion. Can I say this? I'm going to say it. Can say I? It. I can say I allow to say who they've just signed? I don't know. Shall I just risk it? Yeah. Joe Ryan. <laughs> Red hot. Absolutely. Let's see. Good start from Fabian here. He's got a good, uh, long range uh, to overcome against Liam here. Aiming specifically for the legs, trying yeah. to chop the tree trying down. To chop, and Patel. Chop, chop down the tree, trying to slow him down a bit, chop him up. Good knee there from Liam. Strong low kick there. Liam blocking well though so far. So he's got some heavy hands as well, Fabian. Yep. Three threes again for this one. He's not finding his distance, Patel, at the minute. Yeah. Score him well with that left kick. Better. Nice long knee from him there. Big, heavy hands here from Fabian. Yeah, Needs to watch with his head as Can't well, Rob. Yeah. Job when you're a taller fighter, this and you're moving back sometimes. You can get the risk of sitting your head up a bit too high, your hands low, and the shorter fighters they get their shots over the top, around the side. We don't see them coming. Swinging for the bleachers at yeah. times, the Frenchman. Can he keep this? Frenetic pace up. 
Some elbows coming in from both here in the clinch. Yeah. Under the final, under the Another final minute man. of round number three. Sorry, Rob. Downward elbow there with a the downward yeah. elbow. And the round one. Shield there. Good long knee there from Liam and gets the on rushing Fabian here. That nice distance, isn't he? In. Platel's either got to yeah. let him come forward and let him step in. Oh, beautiful, beautiful spinning elbow as there. Said that. Just needs to make it a bit more space over there. When he's tall like this, trying to get the elbow to land hard against a shorter opponent, needs to be a little bit more at range. He did him all the trouble he can ask for, though, isn't yeah. he, Bella? Oh, this is a good fight for Liam. This He'll uh, learn from this, whatever happens. Tough, aggressive... Uh, Frenchman trying to get the low kick in there. See Liam kick with the right leg really yeah. as well. Just score with the body. He's getting a little bit wise to that left leg now. Yeah. Bella. I'd like to see how it's before. Beautiful oh, shot. Beautiful hook there. Big beautiful elbow, elbow there. though. Beautiful absolute. Beautiful timing there from Liam. He dug in there because he was uh, Eps, yep. caught with a few shots and he needed that. Good knees from him here in the clinch. Right elbow counter there from Patel was on the money. But the rock hard Frenchman still coming forward, Rob. Yeah. Just like to see it Liam work a bit more here. Push forward a bit more, open up a bit more, try and get those long knees working as well. Yep. Obviously timing of the essence so good, especially when they've got a dangerous punch like this. Beautiful teep to the face. Left kick again. Defends himself well, doesn't he? Yeah. Good knees now from Liam in the clinch. Great positioning from him.
six away. Paul singing from the same hymn sheet. It's going to round number three then. France versus England. Third and final final round. Three. Good stepping knee there. Time that sweep well there. Good right hand though from Bella. Yeah. Got to watch that shot. It's yeah. a big one. Learning fight this for Patel, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's, you know, it's, you'd like to see him do a few things. Like, You've got to be careful against a punch like this. Yep. Timing is of the essence. Nice counter kick. Yeah. Trying to get him to come in a bit more though afterwards, following nice elbow through the guard there. Elbow on the inside from Patel. Work from Liam here in the clinch. Keep it busy. Good elbow there, though, from his opponent. Heavy. Good That's the kicks. right kick. Yeah. Could have made this fight a lot Three easier. Three landed with that. Yeah. Gonna pull his leg off there, yeah. isn't he? Dislocate his head. Good work in the clinch again now from Liam. Blood on the nose of Patel. Least of his worries is this strong Frenchman. Tries to take his chin off. Did well to get round there. Yeah. Really did. That's 20 seconds or so of a very entertaining contest, which has been the uh, part of the menu here of Moise Eye Grand Prix, really. Oh, big shot. Good knee Good though from, from Liam. Liam yeah. Yes, about to end Very the good final fight. Round. That was a right ding dong. Yeah. Holds his hands aloft, the Frenchman. Well, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the canvas is covered in claret because last night was an absolute episode of, I don't know, axe murdering bloodfest. Today as well, Greg in the Show. earlier car, part of the card, was, uh, the, I believe there was some uh, real bloody brawls as well. And just added to that is a sprinkling of the plasma of, of Liam Patel. Great fight, Bella really tried his best, we believe though, He's got the scoring down to a T, Liam Patel, let's see. And ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause please for both these men after three superb rounds of action. And at the end of those three closely contested rounds, we go to your judges' scorecards where we have a unanimous decision. All three judges in agreement with your winner in the white corner, it's Liam Patel! Frenchman and looks to me in absolute shock. Fabian. I don't understand why people don't realise it's Muay Thai, but there you go. Yeah. Scoring with the body kicks, the knees, the punches, never took any effect on Liam. He wasn't wobbled in any way, shape or form.